DrEducate2.com and I'm Sipski, your host. Today I want to share with you um, my personal experience that's dear to me and my wife. Today we went to a protest, a new sex curriculum protest uh, in Queens Park. There were thousands and thousands of people there. Contrary to the media saying 2,000, I think there's more than that, at least three, 4,000 for sure. Being there was the most uplifting, empowered um, any parent would feel if they feel for their kids. And that's how we felt. We felt that we were fighting for the rights for our kids. We, as a parents, were able to speak out for them when they don't have any voice. The new sex work curriculum is basically telling what the kids should learn. Let me give you an example. Some of the uh, thing that they want the kids to learn in grade one is their body genitalia in vivid detail and the right pronunciation like the penis, testicle, and vagina in grade one. Okay, I'm just telling you now. In grade three, they already learn about different sex orientation with different lifestyles. I think that's a little bit too early for grade 3. It's not just my opinion because when we went to the rally, there were different cultures, different ethnicity, different religions. Whether it was Muslim, whether it was Christian, whether it was Sikh, whether it was Hindu, they were all their representative for the parents, for kids. They were grandparents, they were parents, they were kids. They all speak out. They were MPs. They were um, different organi non-profit organizations that speak out for the parents, for the kids. It was one voice and one unity that we feel that the government, the liberal government, is pushing too hard on the parents and basically taking away our parents' total rights to educate and to teach our kids the value. The, our kids' sexuality. I think it is the parents' rights and responsibility to do that, not the education. We should not be indoctrinating the kids. The government, I mean, should not be indoctrinating the kids and what they should be learning and what is right and wrong. It is the parents that should be teaching the kids about their sexuality, not the government. Let me keep going. They're learning about oral and anal intercourse and the age of grade 7 okay they okay that's fine but the point of that is that don't you find that a little bit too young for grade 7 I mean who engage in this type of act such a young age just think about that okay and by the way these type of alternative intercourse is actually very high risk for HIV. In fact, almost 50% of the case of HIV is due to anal sex. And of course, the government doesn't tell you that. They don't give you that kind of information in the curriculum. They would expect the teacher to teach it, and the teacher, most of them probably even know about this stats. They will not release this kind of factual information. They talk about uh, safe sex, but they don't talk about responsibility about love and marriage. I think that's very important. If you are going to do these type of risky behavior, you have to teach the kids about the risk and the responsibility that comes with it. For example, pregnancy, fetal de development. And would they introduce fetal de development in the curriculum? I doubt it. In fact, if you look at the curriculum, it doesn't mention about fetal development. Every single stage showing the life in the pregnancy. So anyway, that's other things. As well, I could list more and more, but you can check out um, websites like peaceontario.com, um, campaignslifecoalition.com, or p-first.com. There are so many websites that you can go to for uh, concerned parents regarding this. And there's another one called canadianfamilyalliance.ca. Uh, you can also visit. I hope you can join with me in this cause that. We as a parent have a right to our kids' sexual education, not the government, not the teacher. Who is it to say that the teacher is responsible to our kids other than teaching them about 
uh, education and facts, not some kind of um, uh, agenda about what our kids should be doing in their private life. Thanks for watching EducateTube.com. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the video um, showing the protests. <laughs> Come <laughs> on.